Following up on my last quick tip for Helix episode, which was all about saving time utilizing the favorites function within Helix, today I want to talk about what I feel is an equally important and incredibly time-saving function, this time called user defaults. So what exactly is user default? Well, let's say that there are certain blocks that we like to utilize a lot inside of our presets, something like myself utilizing a stereo transistor tape. Now, the problem is when we pull this up, we have a certain set of factory default settings. We see this come up with a time of 507 milliseconds, a feedback of 54%, a mix of 40%. And those may not be the settings that I want. So every time I load this up, I need to come in here and adjust those settings. Well, here's what we can do. We can make that adjustment one time and then set it as a user default. So let's say that I like these settings of switching this instead of on time to note sync and set it to a quarter note. Let's say I like my feedback around 25% and my mix may be in and around 30% and I like to have trails on. Let's say that these are starting point settings that I always pretty much like to utilize when I pull up the transistor tape. Once I've made that setting, I can come up to the block, I can right click this, I can go down to where it says user default. Now you'll notice when I click that and I go back and right click again, user default is grayed out and factory default is now a selectable option and we'll come back to that in a moment. Now what just happened is when I set this as a user default is now every time I come in and go to this stereo transistor tape and load it up, it's going to load up with my user default settings that I assigned last time I had that block up. So this is going to potentially save us all of that time of having to load it up with the factory default settings and then make those changes and tweaks, which can be very time consuming if we're using a lot of different blocks and we always like to have a starting point. And I find that most people do have a certain starting point that they like for each particular block and it can be quite an annoyance to have to always go in and change those around. This can work for pretty much any block. Now, what if we didn't like those settings anymore and we just wanted to reset this back to factory? Well, that's where we can come up here. I can now right click and just hit factory default. Now, when I come back in and load up an instance of the stereo transistor tape, I'm going to get those factory default settings. So we can do this as many times as we want. I can switch this back, make the same settings or close to the same settings I had previously. I think I was in and around here. I can come back up. I can click user defaults and now every time I load up a stereo instance of the transistor tape it's going to load up with my settings. We can also do this with amps or any other type of block. Let's say I have the Line 6 Carillion here and I just want everything here at 4.5 across the board. Now I could come up here, I could say set that as user default, X that out. When I come to the Line 6 original Carillion amp it's going to load up with those settings. If I come back over here and reset it to factory default settings, every time I load up that particular amp model is going to come back with these other factory default settings. I can set these however I want, set a user default, and whatever I set that user default as is going to be recalled every time I come to that particular block. I hope that you found that to be a useful tip. It can be incredibly time-saving, and I hope it helps you to make your presets in a much more speedy and efficient manner. I hope you enjoy the music on the way out. Links are below to any of the presets you heard in this video.